Hello everybody. So here I'm chilling with this fancy little tailpiece. That's called an Ottinger tailpiece. O-E-T-T-I-N-G-E-R. That's how I'm going to pronounce it anyhow. So pretty neat. Um, we're going to be trying this out on this, this Pisgah banjo here. Uh, if you're not, not uh, familiar with these, these are real desirable for uh, bluegrass pickers, classic pickers, anybody who does the real, um, if you're playing real high up the neck, if you have a fully fretted instrument um, and you play up there a lot, you probably want something like this because basically, long story short, each knob here adjusts the tension on each individual string. You see that? Um, now this is a, a, a nice, well-made Ottinger tailpiece. I got this from a guy over in England who sent it to me, Lyndon uh, Bespoke, Bespoke Banjo. I don't know how you say that. I don't know how you pronounce the guy's name. But I'm going to put um, the address to his website where you can learn more about these, maybe order one if you want, uh, directly from him. It's a sturdy tailpiece. So I'm going to slap it on this, uh, this custom Pisgah Banjo. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Just we're going to compare, you know, the stock um, hawk tail tailpiece that you get from Pisgah banjos or Balsam banjo works. A good little tailpiece. This is an improvement over a no knot. But we're going to show you how, um, uh, if you invest in a, in a Ottinger tailpiece, something like this, uh, it's going to make your instrument sound different. Good girl. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to demonstrate first just a little ditty on the hawk tail piece, and then I'm going to demonstrate it on the Ottinger, which is laying around here somewhere. Here we go. Whew, don't want to lose that. Okay, guys. So here's the first piece. Okay, everybody, so uh, just right off the bat, and I, I do want to have to admit I busted my fifth string when I was changing the tailpiece. What, what you have here is these are all Labella number 17 nylons, and then this fifth string is a Nile gut fifth. That's all, I, that's all I had a spare of, so fifth string a little bit wider. That's why, that'll sound a little different, but anyhow, to my ear, right off the bat, uh, the main difference I hear is that it's just it's a little bit makes the banjo a little bit punchier, brighter, louder sounding to me to my ear. Uh, this tailpiece, so you can you can adjust basically use these like fine tuners. Um, when you get up into these frets here, a regular tailpiece is not going to cut it for you. You're going to have to fine tune it to where you can get these perfect chimes and stuff down here. So. If I had to say one thing about this tailpiece that I don't like, it would just be the length of the arms, really. And I'm sure that they copied that off the original. And if you're playing a standard 11-inch rim banjo, it probably doesn't matter. But this is a 12-inch banjo rim. So I do want that longer arm to bring that pressure a little bit closer to the bridge, for my personal taste. So that, that's my only bit of criticism I could offer for this. It's real neat. I mean, you, you loop your strings down here, uh, however way you want to do it, and then you can just pop them in these little grooves, and then you just adjust the tension however you want it. 
So it's, it's, a, it's a great tailpiece. I definitely do recommend it. For me, I'm probably going to stick with that Kirshner tailpiece I've been using for a long time just because I don't really play up the neck very much, so the fine tuning is not really uh, an issue to me, really. Um, and I want that, that Kirshner is a little bit longer that gets up behind there. So that's really be my only, my only uh, complaint if I had one about this tailpiece. Other than that, it seems to be remarkably well made. It's, uh, it's not rattly or shaky. Everything's tight. So I'd say the, uh, you got a good tailpiece here. I'm going to put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, everybody, um, that's all I wanted to say about this. If you enjoyed that, if you'd like to see more stuff like that, it'd be great if you hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and the best thing you can do is share this video with somebody who might be interested in old banjos. Thanks a lot.